Hello, this is Zirani. Today let us do the continuation of Standard 7 Biology Plant Tissue Unit 2. In the previous video we read about the plant tissue, the meristematic tissue, the types of meristematic tissue and their functions and structure. Today we will read about the complex permanent tissues. The complex permanent tissues are mainly responsible for transport of food and water. These are of two types that is xylem and phloem tissue. Xylem and phloem together are called as a vascular bundles. The xylem is a vascular bundle which carry water and minerals from the roots to different parts of the plant. Phloem tissues carry prepared food by the leaves to other plant parts and vice versa. Now let us read what is complex permanent tissue. Complex permanent tissue consists of more than one type of cells. They work together as a unit to perform specific function. Some cells could be living and some could be dead. These are of mainly two types, xylem and phloem. Together, xylem and phloem form the vascular system of the plant. They are called as the vascular bundles of the plant or the conducting tissues of the plant. They are mainly present in stem, roots and leaves. Now let us study about the vascular tissue that is xylem. This is a xylem, LS or longitudinal section of xylem. The xylem is called as a water conducting tissue. It conducts water and dissolved minerals from the roots to various parts of the plant. This xylem tissue is composed of four types of cells. It is tracheids, the vessel elements, xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers. Of these, the xylem parenchyma is living and the rest all are dead. This xylem is present in all the parts of the plant like stem, roots, mm -hmm. leaves and the function is it helps for the upward movement of water and dissolved minerals from the roots to the leaves. So the direction of flow of water is upward direction. The lignified cell wall provides mechanical support. Now this is a diagram of the xylem showing the upward movement. So the direction is in the upward direction of xylem. This is a cambium and this is phloem where it is a downward direction. The next vascular tissue is the phloem. Phloem is found in all parts of the plant. It is made up of living tubular cells which provides passage for downward movement of food prepared by the leaves to other parts of the plant. So it's a vascular tissue responsible for the movement of the manufactured food. So it's for the food prepared after photosynthesis, the manufactured food goes to all parts of the plant with the help of this tissue called as phloem. They are composed of four types of cells, the sieve tubes, companion cells, phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers. Except the phloem fibers, all the phloem cells are living in nature. They are present in all parts of the plant like stem, roots, leaves and the function is to transport the food prepared by the leaves to various parts of the plant. Now this is a diagram of the phloem tissue which shows the phloem parenchyma, the companion cells, the sieve plates which contains the pore like structures called the sieve pores, the sieve tube and a thin layer of cytoplasm. Now let us do some question and answers to have a check on the chapter what we did. A group of similar cells which perform a specific function is called a tissue. A plant tissue that is found at the tip of the shoot is an apical meristem. The epidermis of a plant part is composed of parenchyma tissue. Tissues found in growing regions of the plant are the meristematic tissue. 
sieve tubes and companion cells are the components of phloem. The examples of vascular tissue in plants are both xylem and phloem. The cell wall of sclerenchyma tissue have deposits of lignin. The water conducting tissue of plants is called xylem. Phloem in the plant performs a function of conduction of food. Which one of the following is made up of dead cells? Tracheids, sclerenchyma, vessels. All these are made up of dead cells. The permanent tissues differ from aristomatic tissue in attainment of de definite shape, performing a distinct function and inability to divide. Pits are found in the walls of sclerenchyma cells. The cells are living, elongated and thickened at the corners of colenchyma. The plant tissues which have thin walled with abundant cytoplasm are called as a permanent tissue. The food prepared by the leaves is translocated through the phloem tissue in plants. The water is conducted from the soil to the aerial parts of the plant through the xylem tissue. A plant tissue which do not possess living protoplasm at maturity is called sclerenchyma. In plants, the organ that makes food is a leaf. Water moves upwards inside the plant body through the xylem. A permanent tissue is made up of cells that are incapable of cell division. Now we have got number of question answers in this chapter. So, children, you can now copy these question answers from the link provided here. You can write down in your biology file, copy down the question and answers from the link given over here. Now the link You can open this link to get the question and answers of the chapter 1, Plant Tissue. Please copy down all the question and answers in your biology file. First read the chapter thoroughly and try to get all the answers by opening this link. Thank you.